OMG, Prince Harry deeply regrets leaving family for Meghan as he misses another cenotaph service. Hi everybody, it's good to see you all here again. This is our channel where we dissect the crazy world of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. But before we get into today's episode, guys, I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for your love and support. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, well, what are you waiting for? We get some shocking revelations today about Harry's true feelings. Another important event, keep on your hat, this will be controversial. So in the latest installment of the ongoing saga, it seems Harry is deeply regretting his decision to step back from his senior role. But why? Well, because he missed Sunday's remembrance ceremony at the memorial where the country remembers those who died in the war. The irony here is hard to ignore, considering Harry's military background and passion for honoring those who have served. Richard Fitzwilliams says a role played in the season, the commentator spilled tea on his move for Prince Harry. According to Richard, the Duke, despite his appearance, was deeply conflicted about his decision to distance himself from the royal family. You see, Harry devoted a, a decade of his life to the military, including tours of Afghanistan. However, when he decided to resign, he was stripped of his military rank. As a result, he could no longer wear his military uniform. A shocking truth occurred at Elizabeth's funeral last September. Fitzwilliams now describes it as a kick in the teeth for Harry, noting that he said Admiral Blake had successfully founded the Invictus Games and approached, appreciated rather, his military patronage quite deeply. But in the end, his choices left him on the sidelines, unable to greet his grandmother. The expert draws a parallel with Prince Andrew, who despite 22 years of service in the Royal Navy, cannot wear a military uniform because he is no longer a working member of the company. The irony, as Fitzwilliam points out, is that both Harry and Andrew had served in combat but were now banned from wearing their gear. But wait, there's more. Fitzwilliam doesn't hesitate to highlight that he sees a problem. He mentioned Harry revealing a number of Taliban he personally killed in his memoir, Spare. There appears to be a growing view that such revelations are appropriate for a former royal who has been sworn to secrecy. Now, what does Fitzwilliam expect from Harry and Meghan at this Sunday's memorial service? He predicts the duo will commemorate the event in their own way, as they've done since moving to the U.S. in 2020. Harry was at Pearl Harbor in 2021, featuring an Air Force base in New Jersey, and then in 2020, he was involved in a military crematorium in L.A. However, the royal commentator hinted at a potential conflict with Harry insisting that no matter how he celebrates the weekend, deep pain is palpable about his absence at the Central Ballroom. So what do you think about this news? Let us know in the comment section down below. We'll see you next time for more royal news and analysis.